Hello, my name is Roy Riley. I'm a professional photographer and filmmaker. Um, I don't normally make video tutorials. Uh, I'm making this because I found a solution to a problem that I thought might be nice to share uh, with other people who might be having the same problem. Um, the, the thing that I'm talking about is removing dust spots um, in post-production using Premiere Pro in particular. Um, no matter how clean we keep the sensors of our video cameras, occasionally you get a a little dust spot and I had that problem the other day on a commercial shoot where I was shooting mostly against the blue sky and a little dust spot was causing me lots of problems. Um, I tried to find a way of removing that in post-production and there wasn't really any easy solutions out there so I thought I could find my own way of doing it and I found a pretty easy way of doing it that I'd like to share and it might hopefully it will solve some some other people um, some save some other people some time and uh, it's not. It, it might not be the best way. There might be another way. And if there is, please, you know, let me know. But this is the way that I worked out how to do it, and it's worked pretty well for me. So I'm going to dive into Premiere Pro and show you what it is that I'm doing. So here we are. I have my clip from my shoot I did the other day, and you can see the dust spot here. So how am I going to remove it? Well, I'm going to find somewhere that's about middle of the clip, and I'm going to take a screenshot here, and I'm going to save. A screenshot. I'm going to go out of Premiere Pro, I'm going to find the screenshot that I've just grabbed and I'm going to drag it and drop it into Adobe Photoshop. In Photoshop I'm going to use the crop tool to very simply find a little bit of sky that kind of matches the, the, the area where the dust spot is. I'm going to go to the hand tool and I'm going to click crop. That brings us out to a little bit of sky, and I'm just going to go File, Save As, and save that somewhere. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm just going to call it anything. I'm going to call it G, and I'm going to save it. It doesn't really matter what we call it. And then I'm going to not save that because I've got my other version. Minimize Photoshop, back into Premiere Pro, and I'm going to import that tiny little JPEG. In it comes. I'm going to drag it over the top of the clip where I want to do the dust spots and I'm going to crop the end in so that it's the same length. Now if you look up here you can see that we have this little square directly in the middle. We don't want it there. And what we want to do is move it up to pretty much cover. So we need to select that, we need to go into motion and then using the position tool we can move our little square across so it lines up and we can move it up so it covers. The next thing we need to do is to go in here and select Gaussian Blur, search for it and drag it on top. We also need to search for brightness and contrast. Grab that and drag it on top. Then up here when we've got this clip selected you can see that we have the Gaussian Blur here and the brightness and contrast here. The first thing I want to do is to apply a little bit of blurriness to smooth the edges of our clip. And it's up to you how much you use, and each, in each situation is slightly different, but somewhere around the middle of the, uh, of the slider there seems to do it for me most of the time. Um, the problem that we've got on this particular clip is that it cha the, the, the actual background sky changes in brightness and contrast because the sun is moving, because we've, we've got a moving thing moving through the sun. So um, what I then need to do is to go into the brightness and contrast and kind of adjust the brightness and contrast over time. So we'll start right at the beginning and in the brightness uh, menu here I'm just going to drag that until we lose it and that's fine. Then I'm going to drop a little clock timer mark here to show that I want that to be where it starts. I'm going to move the cursor along ever so slightly until I just start to see a change up here in the brightness and I'm then going to adjust that down again to until it disappears. And then I'm just going to play it along a little bit more until that we just start to see again a little bit of a change and then we adjust slightly. We come along a little bit more until we start to see a little bit more of a change. We go down along a little bit more until we start to see a little bit of a change. No change as, as such there and then maybe do we need to change a little bit there? Just a tiny little bit, and then coming out again of the light. Mm, we could maybe lighten just a tiny little bit more. 
Mm, I think about there. And then let's just play it through and see what happens. Well, that's a pretty good attempt at a dust spot. I'm happy with that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you might be able to use this particular tip to speed up your workflow for something. Thanks ever so much for listening. Bye-bye.